Furious Brits have slammed an exodus of MPs seen filing from the House of Commons ahead of the Prime Minister's vital speech on the final Grenfell Inquiry report. Sir Keir Starmer stepped up to the podium earlier this afternoon after the inquiry concluded in its landmark findings that decades of failure across multiple sectors and systematic dishonesty led to the deaths of 72 people who died in the 2017 tower block blaze. Political missteps were included on the list, but MPs have drawn mass criticism for appearing not to care about the Labour government's response. After Prime Minister's questions and before the PM was due to deliver his remarks to the lower house today, a live feed capturing the proceedings showed dozens of MPs filing out of the Commons chamber. Britons taking to social media have excoriated the group, which appeared to include politicians from both benches, as disgusting for failing to stick around for Sir Keir's remarks, for which families affected by the disaster were present. MPs typically leave the Commons to attend meetings or for ministerial responsibilities, but their missing a speech responding to one of the country's most upsetting disasters has not gone down well with Britons. Their absence was particularly stark today following PMQs, when the lawmakers are usually at their most numerous in the chamber. Nadine added, Sure, they're busy. We're all busy. But the exodus is giving who cares. Disappointing to see. Other social media users were similarly dismayed at the move, with one account calling for people to name and shame the offending MPs. Another branded the exodus disgusting, and a third said they should have been made to stay. One commenter added, What exactly are we paying them for? They've only just gone back. In his statement, the PN apologized on behalf of the British state for the string of failures that led to the fatal fire, telling the remaining MPs that the survivors, bereaved families, and the community around Grenfell had been let down very badly before, during and after the fire that killed 72 people in 2017. Speaking to the families of those killed in the fire, he said, I want to start with an apology on behalf of the British state to each and every one of you, and indeed to all of the families affected by this tragedy. It should never have happened. The country failed to discharge its most fundamental duty to protect you and your loved ones, the people that we are here to serve, and I am deeply sorry.